here we are going to look at certain special types of matrices okay so first let's look at what is known as a row matrix a row matrix is a matrix which has only one row remember we said a matrix has order m by n right so if there is only one row it is 1 by n so a row matrix will be of the form a i j 1 by n one row any number of columns example a could be okay, let me call this a1 could be let's say 3 minus 2 so this is 1 by 4 okay so the order of a1 is equal to 1 by 4 okay now a column matrix by now you would have guessed is a matrix with one column so let me call this as a2 is a matrix with only one column so this is order of a2 is equal to 3 by 1 3 rows 1 column in general it is m by 1 okay next is a square matrix this is a very important type of matrix which we will come up with again and again a matrix with number of rows equals the number of columns in other words m equals n right so a square matrix has equal number of rows and columns square word itself sort of communicates that right so a square matrix for example 2 by 2 matrix right would is a square matrix okay let's say 3 2 5 6 this is a square matrix two rows two columns you can have 3 by 3 okay so let's say c 3 by 3 equals of course the generally when we write matrices we only put integers but that doesn't mean that the values have to be confined to integers even if we are confined uh, to only real numbers you can of course have fractions irrationals etc but just for easy understanding we just usually put integers just you know when we operate it's easy to work with right so this is a 3 by 3 square matrix this is a 2 by 2 square matrix square matrices are very common and we do many many operations on them right so it's a very important thing to understand the next type is what we call as the null matrix or zero matrix this is a very simple idea where a matrix is a null matrix so let's say matrix d is a null matrix if all its entries are zero okay so d is dij 2 by 3 where dij is equal to 0 for all i comma j where 1 i is between 1 to 2 and j is between 1 to 3 right so for all such i j d i j is 0 because all the entries are 0 this is called as a null matrix or zero matrix usually it is denoted also by the big capital letter 0 or o so that you can understand that all the entries are 0 the next idea is what we call as a diagonal matrix a diagonal matrix is one where all the non diagonal entries are zero for example if i call e as a diagonal matrix then so let's say this is 3 this is minus 5 and 1 these entries are all zero 
I can in fact add one more. Okay, okay, let me just stop here. Okay, now E is equal to let's say E i j and in this case this is 3 by 3. In a diagonal matrix E i j equals 0 if i not equal to j which means if the row number and column number of an entry are not equal then that entry will be 0. So here these entries are diagonal 1 1 2 2 3 3 etc. All the other things are non-diagonal. So for example this is first row second column first row third column. So this is E 1 2 E 1 3 this will be E 2 1 etc. All such entries are 0. If i and j are not equal then the matrix entry for that particular uh, entry value will be 0 right ok. Now within diagonal matrices you have two other sort of subcategories. One is an identity matrix ok. This is a square matrix with diagonal entries alone as 1. So this is usually denoted by the letter i and like i2 which is the 2 by 2 square matrix is 1001. i3 is 1001. And you can imagine i4 will be a 4 by 4 matrix where all the diagonal entries will be 1. And another category is what is known as the scalar matrix where all diagonal entries are equal need not be 1. Both of these come under diagonal matrix. For example, S is a scalar matrix if if this is minus phi, minus phi, minus phi, all the other entries are 0, ok. So identity and scalar are both diagonal matrices. Identity is something that we will use again and again and you can see that I2, I3, etc. denote the square matrices of 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 order which are identity matrices. And scalar, it is a diagonal matrix where the entries are all equal but they can be any number. 